Coleman police are investigating after an 18 year old was taken to the hospital after being injured during a fight at Rock the South Saturday night. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is in Coleman and Valerie, this fight was caught on camera. It was Muriel and we want to warn our viewers the video you're about to see may be disturbing for some. That video was very chaotic. I mean, you could see there's a lot of stuff going on and uh, and, and again, it's you, you can't always rush to judgment and think that you have the the whole story in just that little snapshot of video. So, you know, we're still interested in seeing what happened before. 18 year old Reed Watts provided an account for what he says happened leading up to this fight. He says it started when a man confronted him over spilling a drink on him, but Watts claimed he explained he didn't even have a drink and they shook hands. I was walking back and I just got hit in the back of the head and I hit the ground, tried to cover my face and then I got knocked out. And I mean, that's really all I know. The video shot on Chase Brown's phone. Brown stepped in to help, not knowing anyone involved. I was thinking of maybe like if it was like my little brother or my know one of my friends I would hope somebody would do the same. Coleman police are investigating. The part that we're the most concerned with is that 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 portion where uh, Mr. Reed is on the ground and it's obvious that he is unconscious. You can tell that his legs are not moving and he continues to be punched in the face. Rock the South was offering a $10,000 reward and lifetime tickets for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Watts and his loved ones just glad he's okay. I'm and I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Because of the public's help, Chief Nasetta says they have a good idea who they're looking for. He says they are anticipating assault charges, but the investigation is ongoing. Live in Coleman, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.